how to create proxy files for Premiere Pro 2020. To create proxy files you also need Adobe Media Encoder. So if Media Encoder is not installed then you need to install it. That will create the proxy files, the lower resolution videos so that you can work easier. So let's just drag and drop two 4K videos onto the timeline. That should be there. Okay, and to create the proxies, we have these windows in the lower left corner. And on the project window, um, press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all of your clips. Right click any of those clips, go to proxy and create proxies. And here, choose a format, H.264 or QuickTime and choose a preset. I will choose the lowest resolution. I will talk about that resolution a bit later. Okay, it will create a folder called proxy and it will be next to the original media that is here on the desktop and close it with OK. Now Media Encoder automatically starts and it will convert those files which were on the timeline of Premiere Pro and now it's doing the first one which is a larger and then automatically the second one which is a smaller file and here's the folder it's called proxies and this will be an mp4 after a while after conversion okay and meanwhile let's go back to premiere pro while media encoder is doing the conversion let's add a button here so click on this button editor, that plus sign, and drag this toggle proxies, larger clip and smaller clip. Drag and drop it here onto this toolbar and close it with OK. Now let's wait until this finishes so the two clips will be converted. And media encoder in a few moments will finish. It was also using the um, GPU acceleration. CUDA. Now it's doing automatically the second file, which is much smaller. And after it finishes, we can toggle down with this one, toggle proxies. So now when it's blue, it's showing the proxy image. And when you click on it once, it's showing the original 4K image. Now let's press it. And as you can see there, we have two black bars. So intentionally I choose, I selected that resolution, the lowest one, that w resolution wasn't a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And in this way, it's easier to see which one is the proxy and which one is the original footage. So that black line, those black bars will not show up in the final exported video, but in this way you can see exactly which one is which. Okay, and if we make a test, let's say speed it up, Control R and make it faster. Uh, once again, Control R, Ripple also, okay. And 500 also, <laughs> yes, backslash. And now if I play the video using the 4K, it might jump or it might not jump, it depends on the cases. And toggle proxies in a few moments, yes now. Now it's showing the lower resolution and this should be more fluent. And if we take a look here in Task Manager and Performance, when I use the proxy video, then the GPU usage is much lower, around 10%. But if I click on that button once again in a few seconds, notice the GPU usage went way higher, 90 something percent. So the 4K video is using a lot of GPU for some, I'm not sure what reason it is very fluent now. Let's do it again. By the way, you can lower that usage by going here to settings and unchecking this high quality playback. Let's see if I check it. It's high also and it's not jumping yet. Okay, so let's do another thing. Let's stop it. Let's close the program. Yes, save it. Close Media Encoder also and change the name of this folder in which the proxies are. 
I will add just a letter to the end. So the folder name is different. Let's start in the program once again. And now Premiere Pro, since I saved the project, it's lo loading the same project and it should try to load the same proxies that one but it will not find the proxies so missing media files in the proxies folder but they are not there so click on locate and choose the new folder that one okay and it's asking for on the 29 and this is the 29 click on that one and okay and it's linking both of them and that's about it how to create proxies for Premiere Pro inside Media Encoder. And one more thing here in the project window at proxy you also have either attach proxies or reconnect the full resolution media.